What's going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Today we have news coming out of multiple carriers. Uh, we're going to take a look at some, um, I guess we'll call them pandemic relief measures that are being extended by certain companies. I know a lot of them have actually cut off those relief uh, items in terms of like data caps and stuff like that. Anyways, I got an update there. Uh, we're going to take a look at the earnings reports for some of the wireless carriers in the near future. And then we've got some T-Mobile outages, which are new and are ongoing. And then something that we haven't had a lot of news on is Dish Wireless. Well, I don't know what it's going to be called per se. The holding name is Dish Wireless. Anyways, I got details about the company and what they're doing with their network build out and hiring process uh, in this video. Anyways, let's start first with uh, the, we'll call it pandemic relief in telecom. AT&T, good news for AT&T customers. They are extending their data cap waiver for pandemic relief for customers through September. The only exception, which sucks, is the digital subscribers that are subscribed to the line broadband that have the 150 gigabyte cap. So that would be the only exception. They're still, you know, doing late fees and terminations. Those are all still fair game. So that's kind of bad news. But uh, it's nice to see that they are extending at least the data cap waiver uh, continued in the future. Verizon also still offering extension and delayed payment programs. Although they have removed the uh, waiver for the data caps, they are still offering help with the payments and their programs and things like that. So second piece of news earnings reports up and coming i already noted that at&t would have their earnings report for quarter two 2020 on july 23rd we now know that t-mobile is going to be doing theirs on thursday august 6th at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time i'll be tuning in i'm sure a lot of you will be i'll offer kind of my insights on whatever happens there uh i'm sure they're going to give us some merger insights as well i mean there's going to be a lot of numbers that are going to be included in this you know how will they include sprint in these numbers and calculations i'm sure we'll probably hear something about the chantel deal whether or not they're going to buy them out or if they're going to continue to operate them as like uh as like an extension of the network like how sprint had it uh to increase their coverage uh we'll probably see some form of a cap x uh readjustment or realignment we'll see uh it should be messy <laughs> it should be a lot of fun uh there's a lot of merger pieces and complications and all this we'll see what happens so go ahead and set your calendar that will be august 6th for t-mobile uh next piece and we'll stick with t-mobile for this one t-mobile outages are ongoing and they are all over the place uh not as extensive as the last round of outages which were pretty large scale uh wherever they were happening they were pretty massive uh anyways uh, what we're seeing is that places along the East Coast, including the South, uh, such as Florida and Georgia, we're also seeing it in the tri-state area with Philadelphia, Washington, and New York City, uh, just to name a few more locations. Uh, also cited the Southwest in the Bay Area, Southern California, and even in the Pacific Northwest in some cases. I'm, I'm seeing it scattered. It's not really large scale. I haven't seen enormous outages. I know people in... Indiana have said that they've had some outages. Illinois have said they had some problems the day before uh, and yesterday. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's really causing it. Some people are saying that they're relaunching Band 41 uh, in LT to support T-Mobile customers. If that's the case, these could be complications of that possibly. I'm just speculating, but I think that could be playing a part in it. So um, the last thing T-Mobile needs, in my opinion, are more outages. Hopefully this stuff gets resolved very quickly and customers can get back out on their networks and get connected. Of course, I mean, we have churn rate concerns when things like this happen. The last outage was massive. I know some customers left because of that. Uh, to a lot of people that received credits, uh, they said that they weren't good enough and some people left. I actually think churn rate concerns are going to be huge with the earnings report we're going to see on August. Uh, August, what was it? The 6th. All right, so uh, we'll see if that's going to be the case because multiple outages is very concerning. Anyways, moving on the DISH network or DISH wireless news that we have. Many have been asking about the network build out news and what they're doing as a company. I haven't really had many details, but now we have some which are pretty interesting. Uh, some of the details and updates I have for you starting first. 
hiring is ongoing. This is from like retail side with different managers and things like that. Also tower climbers, network technicians. So that more on the build out side of the network. Dave Mayo, the former T-Mobile executive and current dish had Hancho only answering to Charlie Ergen, the president. Uh, took to LinkedIn to look for potential candidates and hirees, and he has said that he is looking for professionals in the field. Uh, more jobs to come was quoted. He also mentioned the Open RAN technologies as their network will be built out in the future. Uh, this is something that uh, you know a lot of carriers are going to be getting involved with. I think pretty much all of them will. So it looks like Dish is no different. Uh, 2,000 jobs will be coming to Littleton, Colorado. That's Dish's headquarters. Uh, maybe some former T-Mobile and Sprint employees who have been fired or let go. Maybe they can find employment at Dish. That would be pretty cool. Uh, in terms of jobs, some of the ones that were named, 5G architects, uh, recruiters of wireless core, uh, program manager, directors in building systems, uh, cloud native architects, VM work architecture. So... Uh, we're looking at cell site acquisitions as well. That was some news that was released. Los Angeles, Dallas, New York City, Miami, they have all been cited as where Dish is already starting to do some of the, the framework of the network. Uh, you know, they continue to say that they're going to offer this really flexible, agile, and scalable virtual network, which should be amazing. A virtual 5G core built from the ground up from scratch, a standalone 5G network that is also going to provide MVNO access through LTE and 5G through the new T-Mobile network. So we'll see what happens there. Let me know what you think of the AT&T and Verizon uh, stuff that I mentioned first, the earnings report incoming for AT&T and T-Mobile, what your expectations are there. Uh, and then anything from the Dish Wireless News, which is pretty cool. We're starting to see the company is starting to come together a little bit with their hiring as well as their network. And as soon as we get more information, we'll bring it to you. It's a little bit tougher. Dish is not as loud and... Uh, you know declaring what they're doing in their business as t-mobile is they're they're quite different so when that information does become available i'll do my best to bring it to you guys so keep it locked and keep it tuned to the smt youtube channel uh do me a solid if you found today's video enjoyable or informational and uh an educational uh informative i should say uh please do rate this video share it to your favorite socials twitter instagram facebook however you do it thank you so much for that in advance also make sure that if this is your first time here and you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the smt and here are some other videos if you're not ready to leave the channel check those out some other ones that i hand selected for you guys thank you so much in advance for that that's pretty much it um Check out the links in the description box down below. All the community links are there. The Patreon page, the Sneed Tech Twitter handle, Periscope, all that stuff is there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'm the SMT, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.